For weeks, Lebanon has been experiencing severe fuel shortages. It is paralyzing the country and the economy. People wait for hours in line outside gas stations. Uh, most of the time, fuel is not available. The reason for this crisis is that Lebanon is in economic turmoil. A few months ago, the government decided to subsidize fuel in order to avoid a social explosion. Uh, but now, the central bank says it has run out of foreign currency reserves. The government's subsidies policy has been criticized because what has happened is that a black market has been created and many are smuggling cheap fuel and diesel into neighboring Syria. The government is trying to solve the crisis by gradually lifting uh, subsidies, but it is, it's not working. Stopgap measures are not the solution. Hezbollah, which holds political power along with its allies in Lebanon, is now planning to import fuel from Iran. It's a decision that has been criticized because um, importing Iranian oil could lead to sanctioning the state. Hezbollah insists that this is a unilateral move, that the state is not involved. But at the end of the day, uh, Hezbollah is part of the system. And many are criticizing this move as a way to show that they are not part of the problem. Hezbollah portrays itself as outside the state, when along with its allies, they control the state. Many will say the only way forward, a sustainable solution, is for those who hold power, political parties, politicians, agree to carry out reforms, to fight corruption, structural reforms needed uh, to resolve Lebanon's deep economic crisis. But doing that would mean that these political parties, in one way or the other, are committing political suicide because they lose their control over the state.